Hey guys, okay, so we've got another box opening, but this is a little different. I went on to shopgoodwill.com. They have a, they have some dolls, or actually a lot of stuff. And I ordered four dolls. One is a, we call them burger babies. Uh, and one's a precious moment. The other two, I'm not for sure exactly what they are. So uh, we are going to find out. They came earlier today. Here is my receipt. And here's the receipt. And if it does have bad dresses on it, I'll blur it out. Alright, so they come bundled up in like this little like bag here. Um, so this is the Burger Baby, which I think is this type of one that we got. No, that has bigger mom. No smoke smell. She, he does need, or she does need a good cleaning. She's got something all over her, but coming from Goodwill, I kind of expected that. That actually fits. Sure it does. I believe it does. I'm going to grab this one. Aw, it's another Beringer doll, I think. It is? No, it's a city toy doll. It's so cute! And this one was laying down, so I didn't really get to see him very good, but he is cute. I like him. Um, might change his... Well, no, I can't change his body. Unless I make him a cuddle baby. Or you figure out how to sew him back on. Or use different ones. And this... Oh, this one talks. It does something. She is a... Don't... Oh. There it is. Um, I cannot read that. Uh, 2001 Mantel. So I'm not really sure what type of doll yet she is. They are really marked up. At least this one is. Interesting. Sorry about that. Yeah, and then and then the last one we got is this pre oh, precious moments. Um, she's precious moments doll collection. Praying Grace. Let's get her tag still. I honestly do have quite a few of these, but I'm not sure if I want to keep them. But she's cute. If I got her a stand. She probably could stand on the stand. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like her, but the other two. I like. Uh, do we have that measuring tape? It's probably upstairs. This is a doll from when I was born. 2001. Yeah, the measuring tape's upstairs. We have to go grab. I think she, he's probably a 16 inch. Uh, or she. It's in a onesie, so I'm not sure. Uh, it's in a newborn onesie, so it might be a onesie they stuck on her. So she might be a little bit more than that. And then this one. Like I said, she's going to need a good cleaning. Um, and that passy does not stick in her mouth. But it might work on my some of my other babies once they clean it off. She is a little chewy though. And I have a head almost like that. Here's the other head. Here's the head. That I thought was similar. Uh, I'm trying to get the paint off so I can repaint him. I guess they're a little bit the same. He's more chunky though, the other head you have. You make them both cuddle babies maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Good. That's a thought. Um, measuring on the Meringer. It's 19. Yeah, 19. Maybe 20. It's so 
14 and a half. If you guys are curious, she's 16 and the uh, precious moments is 12 inches. So this is, my, this is our first uh, venture into um, Shop Goodwill. Um, I think it's a good value with the price I paid. Um, I think they should do a little bit more on the pictures because some of these, they only had up close pictures of her, of the precious moment. They didn't have up close pictures of the other babies. I, I would probably still have bought them regardless because these two make up for the price. I love this one. It's so cute. Um, But yeah, they came from Tallahassee, Florida. Um, Post been here Sunday, but they got here today. But this is a box opening for Shop Goodwill. So if you guys want to go and look around, um, they do have a lot of different dolls there. Some antiques, some modern, some... Uh, there's one vintage being bidded on right now that's up to $300. Over $400. Oh. Uh, I don't understand why it's so high, but if you want to pay that much for a doll, I go don't for really, it. I think the doll looks a little spooky in my opinion. One of my coworkers said it wasn't a cute doll. No, I think it looks spooky in my opinion. But uh, that's our opinion, so don't... Yeah, there's, there's different dolls out there and everybody has their own types of collections that they like people might like wearing your dolls and some people might not like them so same goes for reborn dolls some people might like Barbies but not like reborn dolls or vice versa they need some good cleaning which we'll do we'll certainly do that and like I said his body I don't know I like it yeah he's cute and all but I wish his wounds were jointed But he's a little stained up, but not too bad. We've seen worse. Those Barringer dolls' limbs are zip tight. Oh, the not. arms are. The arms are. The legs are not. No, the arms are. Zip tight arms and head. Didn't we see a Joseph sculpt that had cuddle legs but had regular arms? Oh, yeah, yeah. How that works. I don't know. Might look into that. So I think I have the lay or the arms for him too. And if that's the case, that would be very interesting. Let's take her clothes off and check out her body. This, I think these clothes are her original clothes. Um, possibility. She looks like a normal doll. Yeah, she's not jointed. One fourth leg, three fourths limb or arms. I guess I'm kind of showed you guys this. Um, she's from JC Toys. And all it says on the back is the burger baby is what we call them. Burger. I know. It was a little outfit she was in. Cupcakes. And a little passy. It's got an interesting nib to it. It's kind of stained up. It's really big passy. A bow. Mm -hmm. A lot of glitter on her face. It's like a kid has played with her. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank so you, it, guys. It might be lip gloss. That's what I was thinking. It might be easy to get hot water and clean it up. Nice circle. I don't know. Thanks, guys.